Hi everybody, Kim from Oz here and thank you for watching my file effects video. So this is a update on May 2014 and this is my work file effects and I'd like to introduce to you the A5 Durham zip file effects. Now if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I've been using a brown, a nice, beautiful chocolate brown uh, A5 Balmoral. And unfortunately, um, it wasn't working as well as I'd like it to. And so we've moved away from each other. And I found this on eBay and uh, a really high to Pat for um, passing this on to me and um, this is now the work binder so I thought I'd do a quick video to just go through um, a little bit about the Durham so um, first of all it's a very soft leather um, you can sort of see the squishiness there it's still very firm it's it's a quite a thick uh, it's probably a slightly wider than most A5s but that's again to the, because of the zip mechanism um, it's got the file effects logo, there we go, down here. And on the back, uh, just a plain back, nothing really uh, spectacular about that. Um, you can see, especially if I move it slightly, that there's uh, very slight little marks here and there, but that's just because of it's, it's such a very soft leather, it's a deluxe uh, leather, and um, type of leather like this, it will... Um, you know have a few little marks here and there but of course the glare makes it look a bit worse but but the black color of it um, actually just uh, makes it look quite good it feels great um, it's um, it's not too light and it's not too heavy it's probably in between um, it's a, very, a bit tiny bit heavier than my uh, Guilford zip a5 but um, overall it's a fantastic binder now, it has this little clip, which doesn't open it, but it actually secures this very large front pocket, which I would use for um, putting some papers in last minute. Don't need to even open it. And I know that those things will just stay in there. So it's a very handy pocket. And on the top is the zip mechanism, like so. And uh, I'm just going to stop there for a second with the zipper because I just want to show you that the Durham has this tiny little clip, which I'll try and bring out. Um, and what was attached to that was this thing, which is uh, just a carry strap, uh, a leather carry strap on one of these little clips here. And that was clipped on there. And I can really reattach it, but I don't actually need to use it. Um, so I've taken it off just because it just saves it sort of flapping around and getting in the way. Um, but I'll put it somewhere safe and if I do think I do need it then I can reattach it. But what I thought here is a great place to put some sort of uh, charm. If uh, you were interested in putting a charm that was not connected to the rings and it's on the outside, it's a great place for that. Um, I was thinking of putting a name tag, but um, at the moment it's just quite new. So, But um, the strap, which uh, does come with the uh, Durham, that uh, has come off and I'll just put that aside. Now, um, it's got the very, uh, you know, standard uh, file effects uh, there's a little logo there, I'm trying to get the glare of the lights. Um, and that's a, a leather tag that you can use to uh, use the zip mechanism and open it. But I've actually put a, a little uh, metal one which I um, can grab and I'll probably use that. And I don't really want to remove this leather one just because it's you know it's a very good quality file effects and I don't want to disassemble it too much um, but it seems to work really well with that this is a very soft one and the reason I put this on is um, because it's very very similar uh, to the Guilford zip my personal one and I just wanted to have something visual that um, I could know straight away which one's which I just don't want to have that to mix them up so that's basically it plus also it's, it's also quite smooth to open the zip up so let's do that let's open the zip up right now and uh, see what's inside so the zip mechanism works really really well and again as I said this is my work binder so um, I've just transferred a lot of the stuff from my um, Balmoral chocolate one just into this but I also culled a lot of things because I'm really realizing I don't 
need everything that I've been putting into my binder. So the rule is if I really haven't used it in a couple of months, um, it goes. And um, to me, I don't want to be carrying around too many things. And uh, yeah, I want to keep it as light as possible and as functional as possible. I'll store the things that I've had in there. If I need them again, I'll know where to find them. But I don't want to carry them around day in, day out. Uh, so there's some generous pockets um, on the underside. They're quite firm. I mean, they're not too, they're not as flexible as the molding, but uh, you can still get in there. And I put paper in there. There's another pocket, semi, um, not not too much room, but there's a bit there. And a really great zip, and another large wide pocket. Let me just open the zip up, and show you. So that opens up down there, and then. The, straight in and that's quite a uh, you know a fairly deep pocket as well and a very very nice large pen loop on this side which is a standard pen loop got the inserts which um, I have um, shown on other videos so I won't go into that too much because this is a work binder um, don't want to show you too much um, and of course I am a, a teacher so I've got my lesson plans and I will do a video on these as well I will give you a little preview though because what I am doing is um, and I've got just lots of calendars and I, I've been trying to find a good planning system for myself and what I've come up with is a bit of an, an amalgamation of DIY Fisher's um, inserts for my lessons so I've got a couple of layers these are not DIY, DIY Fish these are sort of inspired by her design but these are my weekly planners classes, um, a weekly overview, areas for notes and lists and I'm also incorporating bullet journaling but I'll, I'll save that for another video um, and I'm using a page marker here to write and that's my dashboard on that side um, so I'm incorporating a whole range of ideas in my work binder um, behind that is just an, another calendar which I use for planning and then um, another uh, couple of just you know bits and pieces of uh, you know connections and lots of timetables and things that I need just for the daily work which I won't go into as well I do have this divider which I um, have got my Coletto pen in and uh, I did a couple of other videos when I discussed this but the reason I've done this is that the Coletto pen is marking has marked uh, the binder there because of the, the little um, mechanisms that you t push the pens down on um, when they're under pressure it can actually scratch above the pen loop so what I've done is forgone, uh, forgone using the pen loop here and just use this plastic one now this is a, um, a Burroughs brand from Officeworks in Australia and I've just had to adapt it, cut it down, put washi tape on punch holes and it's a divider but it actually just holds the pen away from the leather just a little bit so that's um, partly that and then of course I've just got you know stickers that uh, a good teacher would have and then just paper and notes and CDs and Coletto refills and a big plastic pocket there and just everything so this whole binder is everything I need in my work and of course then there's a very very nice and large I think that's called a secretarial flap or pocket there and the, the leather here is just absolutely soft it's actually different to the rest of it but just underneath here you know I don't want to keep rubbing it all day but it is very 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 soft leather in there as well 30 millimeter rings uh, normal standard mechanism and again standard pen loop that's there so this is the A5 Durham I would say too and I noticed especially when I compared it to my Guilford and I'll just bring it back um, it's a bit hard to see on the camera but the actual Durham is is black and they're both black this is a deep black and this has a very very slight greeny black tinge to it almost like a uh, a licorice uh, black it's hard to explain it and it's very difficult to see it on this uh, using the camera I've got but uh, yeah and I quite like it it really makes it stand out and uh, 
it has a, a really good, I think the, the word is patina, um, the outside. Um, it is a work diary, so I'm not going to be pretending to uh, look after it. And, uh, you know, it, it, it will work. It'll be with me. I'll be taking it to meetings, putting it in my bag. Um, and if it gets scratched, well, I'll I'll wear it <laughs> as it will we'll wear it. But uh, that was one of my things with the philosophy. And although I, I treated my bowel morals the same, you know, they were there to work for me and I wasn't going to try and be very careful that they don't get scratched. Um, my philosophy is I want to use these and I guess the, the, the battle scratches and scars will come and that's all part of it. So um, yeah, I don't make any apologies for that. Not everyone likes that. They Some, some people want to keep their binders nice and pristine and that's great for them. But for me, it's here to do a job and it makes my life a lot easier. So here we have the A5 leather deluxe leather soft squishy still firm though still firm uh, zip and let's just close this up it's a great binder it's what I need at the moment um, I would just mention I did this in the other video so very very quickly um, why did I go for a zip rather than a catch um, and the reason is and it might be just me, but the zipping up at the end of the workday is closure. And I like that. I really do. I, I just find that it's sort of all sealed in. When it's in my bag, if I need to, to move around, I won't worry about anything falling out. And that did happen with the Balmoral and with a, a lot of the clasp binders. Because um, I put a lot of things in these and some things are loose and uh, I know they're secure but the, the actual it's it's closed so on the end of my work day it's all sealed up no temptation to open it up to keep going and that sort of closure with the zip uh, it does work for me it just it does serve a purpose to say things are finished time to go home and uh, yeah I find that really really great I could go on, but I'm going to stop it there. So, thanks for watching. If you want any more details, have a look at the description below. And, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for all the comments and support. I read every comment, and I take on board things that you suggest. And, and if you want more videos, please uh, contact me and uh, suggest things that you'd like to see. So, the A5 Deluxe Leather Black Durham zip my work file effects and my may 2014 update on what i'm using so thanks for watching and i'll see you on another file effects video